absolutely we stand by our story and these stories are not taken lightly so much work and checking has gone into these stories and also our lawyers <laughs> have been through with the fine tooth comb so I absolutely stand by what we have published. I've been looking at this since 2019 and we first became aware of it through the um, untimely death of Alex Hartman in Switzerland and the fact that he'd been corresponding with our reporter Peter Fitzsimons. So that's when we first started looking at it. As um, Brad Webster, as we have called him, said to me, um, I don't want for people to Google my name and the first thing they see is a connection with Alan Jones. And I think there's also shame and embarrassment and it's really hard for people to come forward and say, this is what happened to me. I was the subject of an indecent assault. Yes, I have spoken to the alleged victims today. I think basically they're relieved, they're pleased, and I think that they don't feel so alone. It's interesting that, you know, they're reading the other people's accounts, which in many ways reflect a pattern of behaviour. So I sort of feel that they feel like they've got something that has been weighing on them for a long time.